Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Tonight on Let's Play Max Payne, the heat is on on the street. <laughs> As everything's totally careening out of control, bursting into flames uncontrollably. Yes, by the way, credit to the song um, The Heat Is On by Glenn Fry. That's where that came from. Totally fitting for the situation, by the way, as everything's totally on fire. So last time, I'm not falling for that trick again, by the way. Last time on Let's Play Max Payne, we uh, tried to arrange a, a, like a little bit of a meeting with Angelo Punchinello, the Don himself, and uh, he decided instead to rig the entire restaurant with explosives and, uh, you know, called up Hank Hill and was like, hey, I got someone for you to kill. And he's like, well, I'll make a clean burning hell for that guy, I'll tell you what. Who's trying to put out my flames with gasoline. And then I'm going to dive down. Oh, well, apparently I'm not going to dive down the stairs. I'm going to, like, fall down half of the flight and then dive down the rest of it. So, yes, we are making our way almost, we're almost to one of my other favorite parts of this game. I can't wait for you guys to see it, because it's going to be totally rad. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. It's pain! Oh, it is me. Boom! Oh yes. <laughs> Nothing like having your delayed death noise, because you all died too fast. <laughs> That's always the best part of the whole thing. Oh, somebody saw me. And now somebody's gonna die. Nice attempt at trying to make it all cinematic there, buddy, but that's okay because I was below you, and so I was in better position to annihilate your existence. And there's gonna be a guy right over here. I'm so happy, by the way. I definitely tried to make a video of this last night, and I'll explain why it totally didn't work out. Wow. Oh, two? Oh. I thought I was going to be able to make that two for one Tuesday. And the best part is that it's actually still Tuesday for another combined 14 minutes. There we go. Uh, I tried to make a video this last night, but I totally couldn't. I tried. And believe me, bless my soul, I totally tried to do it. But I absolutely could not make a fucking video last night. It was absolutely impossible. On the grounds that um, I went and worked out for the first time in about a month last uh, last night. You know, I, I told you guys about that back injury that I had that was so debilitating that I literally could barely do anything. And so when I actually got to the gym last night, by the time I got home, I was so, like, sore that I, like, literally collapsed through the front door when I got home. I was just like, ah, I'm in so much pain. Oh, shit. So, that's kind of what I had to deal with. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was I don't know how he saw the smoke signals from the fucking well sewers, but whatever. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Manor. Sounds good. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, good old foreshadowing. But yeah, so that was that was what I had to deal with last night. I literally tried to, but my hands were shaking so much that I couldn't even like aim properly. Would have been kind of the funny to do it anyway, but they didn't. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only left. The spatial expression's really creepy, by the way. Wanted pain. Could see the pain. Ah, nice play on words, kind of like your last name. Oh my god. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no roadmap. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had grace it graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew that the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano. Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. 
<laughs> oh boy. We oh man, get ready for this, guys. We are about to turn this beautiful manor into a, a spectacle of complete death and annihilation in no time flat. So get ready for that. Oh man, this is gonna be great. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. With a nice stake right in the middle of his back that says soon on it. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. But is she ever, Max? When are they ever smart enough to get themselves out of trouble for once? Yeah, he's dead. there's a guy right over here. He's gonna get it too. Nope. That was not a very smart choice for that guy. I think that I'm just going to try to dive around this thing strategically and hopefully maybe he won't be there to totally shoot me in the face. That's what he was thinking, and unfortunately for him it did not work at all. Ooh. Oh, ah! That was actually a really good place to hide. Totally forgot about that guy. Luckily though, it was just enough for me to go in there and get some painkillers, because I needed that pretty desperately actually. We're gonna go with the dual the dual B's here. I haven't used those in quite a while, so I figured this might be might not be a bad time to use it, especially because this guy's got dual Ingrams. You're right, nobody is going anywhere because you're all gonna die! I'm gonna put my bullets in your skin, it's gonna make your vital organs stop functioning. Oh, no, you're still alive. There we go, now you're dead. I like how that was totally an, an unintentional rhyme, too. It's not really what I was shooting for when I initially started doing that, but it worked out pretty good, so I'm actually not very mad about it. And then, we're just gonna get through here. Yeah, my, my absolute favorite part of this game is actually what happens at the end of this zone. Oh, yep. There's the very first one of the trio right here. I guess he kind of answered that for me. I guess I should probably be a little bit better about that. I should let Maxi talk when he wants to talk. I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. The word on Lisa Punchinello is that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. That little section there, by the way, has a little bit of a dual meaning. Um, and once we get closer to the end of the game, I'm, I'm going to try not to spoil it for you completely, but once we get towards the end of the game, keep that little reference in mind, and it'll totally make sense all over again. Just throwing that out there. So, I got an idea for this. Let's throw a grenade behind the table. La 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 la. That wasn't a very good throw, but it might still work anyways. Nope, didn't work at all. Well, that sucks. Let's try it again. I've got enough grenades to spare. Yeah. Oh, we need to dive. There we go. I just... I love to... Oh, how is he still alive? The grenade was right behind him. How does that even happen? There we go. Of course we get to kill the black guy first. The black guy always dies first. One down, two to go. Especially in horror movies. That's... Died in a spread eagle position, too. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Where'd you guys come from? Your presence is totally not welcome right now. Unless you have painkillers. I would gladly kill you guys if, if there were painkillers involved here. But I don't feel like that's the case at all, actually. I would love to have painkillers right now because I am on the brink of dying. Um, okay, got a random text message. Ooh. So apparently I gotta go back through the kitchen again. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta go out this way. That's, that's right, that's what's going on. Let's bust out the Ingram. That might be a better choice. Um, I don't remember if anything... Oh, yep, there's gonna be people up there. Oh, we got right there. Totally didn't need to do that diving move whatsoever, but I guess he really wanted to try to make a movie-worthy one for the boss. Also did not work out at all. Oh, there's a guy up there. You're gonna die, because I've got a lot of bullets. Not to mention I'm just a lot better at killing people than you guys are. All right. Look at where we are. Joker, your angel of death awaits. 
please tell me that there's some pain. I know there's painkillers around here somewhere. Oh no! Wow, you definitely hit yourself quite well. I will give you that credit. How the hell did I not see that? He's wearing black. In a room where the only other thing of any dark color was that piano. Apparently, people... Oh, by the way, if you go play the piano... Yes, he plays the theme song. A little bit of a nice little Easter egg there. Oh, I don't remember this part. This part's not very forgiving either. Especially because I don't really have a lot of slowdown magic here. Oh, no! <laughs> it's going to be bad! Oh, oh, my God. How did I pull that off? How would that guy be stupid enough to not kill me? And that guy. These guys are fucking morons. <laughs> You have a guy that's, like, running around, barely clinging on to his life force, and you have two guys that couldn't finish the job, huh? Please tell me there's painkillers around here somewhere. Oh, yes. Yes, sweet six-foot-two baby Jesus. That's what I'm looking for right there. Don Juan Corleone's melted flower pots. Don't I want him dead. Apparently they want me dead. Well, I will give them... I will give them something. Apparently that door doesn't open. That's just great. Oh yeah, it does. I lied. These guys are not very efficient with bullets. Oh my god, wow. He apparently had a much better angle on me than I did him. Yikes. Well, I have a feeling this is not going to be a very easy section for me. So, in light of that, when we... Oh, you can totally see that guy. I was just too stupid to go over there and look. All right, guys. Well, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching this episode. I actually really need to go to the bathroom right now. I've been holding in for a little while here. So, um, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Max Payne, we're going to go through the rest of the manor here, and then, if I'm not mistaken, my absolute favorite part of this game is on the horizon. And when you guys see that, you're going to be like, oh, dude, that's totally messed up. So... That's what we're going to do next time. It actually ended up working out pretty good. I got to... Uh, never mind. I thought I was going to have to burp, but apparently I didn't have to. So, this is your host, AMF1534, saying take care, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Bye.